What's up, YouTube? I am here with my homie, Daisha. Uh, you've probably seen her on the channel before. Uh, we did a few shoots, the uh, ice snow shoot, and then she helped me with my Sony uh, A9 autofocus video, which you should check out if you haven't. Anyways, uh, I invited her to come over. We are testing out my new lighting modifier, a 41 inch deep uh, parabolic umbrella, um, a reflector holder, um, and we're just gonna go through some di different scenarios. I might use my beauty dish again too. Um, so you know, I just wanted to take you guys for a while, show you like how I work in my struggle studio space, how I make it work with this small space, with this big modifier. And so I'm gonna show you guys the equipment in a second. Um, but anyway, just stay tuned for the shoot, okay? Stay tuned for the shoot. Yeah, just stay. Look, don't talk about and it. And the chicken. Jeez, oh, and the yeah. The chicken. <laughs> the very important part. I love you, I love you, I love you. Until I, until I, I love you, I love you, I love you. Until I find the day. Okay, YouTube, first thing I got is uh, a Studio Pro. This is the 41 inch uh, deep umbrella. Um, I was looking for a deep umbrella and I almost got the Elechrome one because I was looking for like a parabolic umbrella, a deep parabolic umbrella. Um, my little small studio space is J high. Like I can almost touch the ceiling. Um, I'll show you in a second. And so a big like seven foot, six foot would have been too big for this space. So I decided to get a, um, a smaller one. So this is a 41 inch and this is a deep umbrella. Um, this is how deep it is. This is about how big it is. So this is from, you know, top of here to right here. So it's a good size modifier at 41 inches. Um, it's the white feel, cause I like softer light. I don't like specular, uh, harsh light, I like white. So as a white part, so this is the studio, if you buy it, this is what it looks like. Right, deep umbrella with white. And um, I brought this uh, diffuser, it's a 41 inch diffuser. It's kind of pretty much a generic uh, diffuser panel, um, but I brought it along with the umbrella and I'll put the links below in the description. So if you guys want to know like what it is, exactly what I brought, I put a link to like an Amazon wish list of everything that I use and or want. Um, but this is what this looks like. And so I'll put it together and show you guys the total effect. Cool. So I have my umbrella with my diffuser. I put my little flash in here. And now I can play with the big boys. Okay, Facebook. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> so confident. Right. Okay, YouTube. First setup, uh, I'm going to use my um, Studio Pro um, 41 inch right there. I have a hair light uh, in the background as you can see and I have my reflector here so this is going to be my first setup of photos I'm going to make some pictures the model has on like a, a orange um, it's like a coral yeah something like top. that yeah coral crop top so I decided to break out my blue Kate backdrop to kind of go with this orange look and she has a blonde hair so she's got these little beach vibes so yeah we can create like a little oh where did you got your glasses okay cool Cool, so she got her sunglasses on. We got this whole beach thing, beach vibe. Okay, look at you, what, hey? This is a shot right here. Bam, this might be the thumbnail with the 4K act right. <laughs> <laughs> Come up a little bit, like right there. And I gotta make sure, a little bit is right there. Yeah, perfect, hold that, turn the leg to the side again for me, yeah, perfect. Okay, YouTube next set. Uh, my model has changed outfits into a different look here. And um, we have our Studio Pro still in effect. So I moved it her further back um, to the backdrop. And then I have my rim light there, which I didn't tell you guys. I have a young Newell. Um, 
rim light with the magma grid and this is on slave mode so I have my flashpoint speed light which is um, inside here and that's being triggered by my X Pro trigger and I have my young Newell grid on slave mode as like a hair light kicker light <laughs> I want to see it a little bit. There you go. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, so it's hidden. Or is that the flash just mm -hmm. coming and creeping around? So I'm going to, Daisha, I'm going to have you turn your body more towards the light. For flattering reasons, um, the light will come, hit here, come across the face this way. Yeah. So just turn the face this way. Because this is more like a split. Turn your face more towards me, even more. Because this is more like a split lighting scenario. Mm -hmm. This light, this is right here is kind of wrapping around, but more of the light's kind of going to hit and then this is going to cause a shadow. If you turn your head this way, perfect. So like this will get hit, this will get hit, and then this will bounce and kind of fill in that section. Gotcha. Got it? So let, let's try some in that scenario. Still have that's a bit pretty. of shadow, but it's still. But that's yeah, I like good. that. That's like that's that's go back. That's depth. What should you call? My images be flat. Your images got character. It's, it's got all something. good though. Yeah. Got cares or something, whatever. Yeah, I like that. Okay, YouTube. So I posted a picture last night, and I already got somebody saying, "When can I get a chance?" So this is probably another potential person who wants to shoot. So let's see. Um, oops. Let's see who this mystery person is when can I get a chance oh okay she's not bad she's cute what do you think YouTube should I should we shoot her she wants a chance to model um, if you think she should be in the video or if I should shoot her let me know in the comments below okay Oh, okay. We might that might work with this one. <laughs> All right. Okay, we got some people up here. What up, folks? We live. This is what we're looking like, folks. Have I'm gonna pick a few pictures for you guys to edit, and I'm gonna put those in the final video. So just like I did in the last one, uh, I'll let you guys have a crack at some of the shots that I took, and see what you come up with, and then um, it'll be like another um, contest, I guess. Except I won't critique. I'm not good at critiquing. I don't like critiquing images I'll or critique edit. You'll critique. Yeah. Oh, hmm. Okay, then she'll critique. Because so. who's a better, who's more of a critique than the person it, their self? Yeah, but then how you going to know if a picture is good or not? You might not, you might think it's fire. if and, I think it's cute, then it's cute. And if I don't, then... Oh, so your, your determinant is if it's cute. If it's a good picture altogether. Oh, uh, well, it's going to be good. I took it. Yeah, I mean, I took it. It's going to be good. <clears throat> so, yeah. Okay, YouTube. So, what's going on here is I have my model under my uh, modeling light. We switched out lights. Actually, let me cut the little, this so YouTube. Okay, no. right? So perfect. we now have a Explorer 600. Well, and um, I don't own it, it stands. No. I mean, but the reason I have a Explorer 600 is because it has a modeling lamp so we can see what's going on. Okay, so now you guys can see how the light is falling on her. The issue with shooting with a strobe light in here, even though the strobe light helps for space, like I can I can fit more stuff with a strobe light, there's no modeling lights. And so when I am using a beauty dish with a grid, I can't see where the light is falling. So it creates a funny effect. So with this, I can kind of see how the light is hitting my subject to look up. 
So I can see where the catch light is in her eye. And if that's working, like I can see all of that. Back up a little bit. Back up, come, come forward. Stop. So like right here, let me have this. <clears throat> okay, so right here, and see how there's a shadow? The light's falling up, back up a little bit. Boom. So now we have more light here, more light there. Come forward, even more. Boom, so see how that? So back up a little bit. This helps me kind of determine, back up a little bit more. Okay, bam, perfect. This helps me determine where my light is falling so I can kind of, you know, shoot and get going. So we're gonna go ahead with the shoot and you guys uh, stay tuned. By the way, this will give me some practice to work on my uh, editing skills <coughs> on uh, retouching. Because you guys, I'm a horrible retoucher. Ike. <laughs> Mike. Ike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the name. My hairbrush. <laughs> That's okay, though. That's cool. Yeah. I like it. So we'll see what you guys can do. Hopefully, you guys can do a better job retouching. Are these Ooh, we should have Kaylani edit one. Kaylani oh likes gosh. to edit pictures. Oh lord, she gonna throw a filter <laughs> she on. She loves to edit them. No, oh she don't God. even throw them. She doesn't even like. <laughs> she throws filters on my photos. took the chicken out I did okay the chicken's done okay look at this crispity crunchy black wait where's a fork at yeah so anyways you know if I might start a cooking channel you know if this keeps up Food Network holla at your boy you know I might start an Ike's cooking channel if you guys want me to start a cooking channel let me know in the comments below or if I should just stick to photography or barely that so uh yeah you excited you should do cooking. I should do. Oh, it could be I cooking. You know, we're not. We're not going to. You that. can cook with. It, it can be uh, a channel combined. Mm, cooking and yeah. shooting. Yeah, food yeah. photography. There we food go. Photography. Food photography. Yeah. yeah. Right, yeah okay.